Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our Prep Online Assembly. I really hope you've been keeping warm in this freezing weather we've been experiencing in the last week. I honestly thought I'd seen a polar bear, but I thought I must have been mistaken, as they're normally found in the polar regions. I trust that you're going to enjoy this assembly with us. I'd like to open in the word of prayer. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you for keeping us all safe over the past week. We pray, Lord, that you'll grant us renewed strength and energy as we go into the last few weeks of term. We thank you, Father, that we can stand firm in the knowledge that we never walk alone and that you always walk beside us, whatever the storms that we face. We pray this in your precious name. Amen. I'd now like to hand over to Mrs. Faree for the devotion. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I would like to share with you the story of the Good Samaritan. God's story, the Good Samaritan. So part of God's story is about a Good Samaritan, and it goes like this. When Jesus lived on earth, he often told stories to teach us things. Stories that teach a lesson are called parables. One day, Jesus told a parable about a good guy from a place called Samaria, a Good Samaritan, to a group of Jewish people. It all started when a Jewish expert in the law asked Jesus, what must I do to receive eternal life? Basically, he was asking, what do I have to do to be perfect? Since this guy was an expert in the law, he thought he already knew how to be perfect because he knew all the rules. He just wanted to see what Jesus would say. Of course, Jesus knew what the man was thinking, so he asked him, what is written in the law? The man said, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as you love yourself. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus answered him by telling this story. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Everybody listening was Jewish, and they could probably all picture the exact road Jesus was talking about. He continued, a priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. You might expect a priest who was supposed to serve God to help, but he didn't stop. Then Jesus said, a Levite came to the place and saw him, but he passed by on the other side too. Levites were assistants to priests, so maybe you'd expect them to help too, but he didn't stop either. Finally, Jesus said, a Samaritan came along. Remember, a Samaritan is a person from Samaria. That's near Israel, where God's family, the Jews, lived. But here's the thing, Jews and Samaritans didn't get along. In fact, nobody hearing this story would ever expect a Samaritan to help, because Samaritans and Jews couldn't stand each other. But Jesus said, when the Samaritan saw the man, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took out money and gave it to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will pay you back for any extra expense you have. Then Jesus asked, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law didn't even want to say the word Samaritan, but he admitted the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. In other words, go and love everyone even people we don't like or people who everybody else wants to avoid. See, when we show love, we're obeying Jesus. Obeying God doesn't mean just doing what his rules say. It means loving him more than anything and showing his love to every single person that we meet. And that's the story of the Good Samaritan. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. A man asked Jesus how to get eternal life. Jesus said, what is written in the law? The man said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Then the man asked, who is my neighbor? Jesus told a story. If you miss Jesus' story, here's the quick, quick version. A Jewish man got beat up. A priest walked by. A priest assistant passed by. A man from Samaria actually did help. That was a surprise. Jesus had taught them, we obey God when we show love. And that's part of God's story.
I thought this would be the perfect message since we are celebrating a very special day tomorrow. Can anyone tell me what special day we are celebrating tomorrow? Yes, that is correct. Mandela Day. Nelson Mandela cared very much for the less privileged people of South Africa. He started a program where the people of South Africa would come together on 18 July, his birthday, and spend 67 minutes doing something good for others. Those of you who were in the school last year might remember that we collected many different food supplies for our sister school, Lokopila, which we packed out in front of the classrooms, which formed the numbers 67 to celebrate this wonderful day. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we cannot do the same this year. However, we can be good Samaritans in our homes. But how, Mrs. Puri? You can help your brother to pick up his toys. You can give your sister a hug when she hurts herself. You can volunteer to wash the dishes and offer to make dad a cup of coffee. Being a good Samaritan is not about doing big things. It's about doing little things to help those around you have a better day. I hope you have a lovely Mandela Day tomorrow.